students today we will discuss about the chemical potential chemical potential is one of the important concept in chemical engineering thermodynamics so let's discuss about the chemical potential first we have to understand what is the use of chemical potential in thermodynamics so chemical potential is used as an index in the same way temperature for thermal equilibrium and pressure for mechanical equilibrium so now let's discuss about the types of equilibrium first is thermal equilibrium in this energy tends to flow from high temperature value to low temperature value and this continues until t1 is equal to t2 t1 is the temperature of system 1 and t2 is the temperature of system 2 when the temperature of system 1 is equal to the temperature of system 2 then only we can say yes our system is in thermal equilibrium and the physical significance of this temperature is the system has tendency to give energy uh, Now let's talk about the mechanical equilibrium. In this, volume is transferred from low pressure value to high pressure value, and this continues until P1 is equal to P2. P1 is the pressure of system one, and P2 is the pressure of system two. Uh, once the pressure of both the system becomes same, then only we can say yes, our system is in mechanical equilibrium. And the physical significance of this is system has the tendency to take volume. Now let's talk about the chemical equilibrium. In this, particles tends to flow from high chemical potential value to low chemical potential value, and this continues until mu one is equal to mu two. Mu one is the chemical potential of system one, and mu two is the chemical potential of system two. Once the chemical potential for both the system becomes same, then we can say it's our system in the uh, chemical equilibrium, and uh, uh, it means there is no further chemical reactions takes place in any system. So this is about the equilibrium. Now let's discuss about the uh, uh, what information we get from the chemical potential. So chemical potential uh, uh, tell us about. about us to uh, real behavior behavior of real solutions or real gases it help us to know about uh, the behavior of any component i any individual component i in the solution so uh, chemical potential which is denoted by mu uh, it measures how much free energy changes if you add or remove dni particles of any component i while keeping the other particles constant so this is uh, this is uh, uh, basically which we come to uh, which we come to know uh, from uh, chemical potential so chemical potential is also known as partial gibbs free energy of any component i it is the form of potential that can be absorbed or removed during the reaction so mu i which is the chemical potential of any component i it, it is equal to the partial gibbs free energy of any component i and it is also given by partial diff, to, uh, partial total gibbs free energy with respect to the change in number of uh, number of particles of any component i by keeping the t p and j is constant so uh, uh, in chemical industries we often deal with the solution so what is solution solution is a uh, mixture of number of components so let's Uh, take the in in any solution there is uh, there are j number of components are present so if you know about the behavior of any component any component any, any individual component so how you can uh, know okay, if you change uh, how you you come to know about this if you change any num uh, number of moles of any component then what is the effect of this change on the free energies so uh, chemical potential help us to measures the uh, uh, gives uh, any free energy it, it can be a, a helmholtz free energy or gibbs free energy or any kind of potential so chemical potential uh, help us to know about the real behavior of any component i in the solution so that is about the chemical potential hope you understand the concept thank you